Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, it is Coffee Howdy, with Tish. Partner. Here's a result from search. <laughs> Hush Google. <laughs> what even happened there? <laughs> oh, you gotta love live streams. Anywho. <laughs> Good morning, Brenda. I got my coffee. Yes, I put cream and sugar in my coffee. I'm not a wimp, but my stomach is. So I have to put cream. And I put half and half, not that non-dairy stuff. If you're non-dairy, kudos to you. That upsets my stomach even more. So good morning, Laura. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah Google wants to join in. <laughs> hey, Google. See, now I won't even do anything for dumb. Anyway. <laughs> oh. So I thought I would paint over this painting. Because I, I really do like the colors. But I just, I don't know. It's kind of meh. So I thought I'd paint over this. Um, I didn't tighten it at all. Let's, let's give it some water treatment. That sometimes helps. Okay, and I don't know about you guys. Hang on, did I put it in my paint? Okay, but I have two of these bottles, and I call one Mr. Mister, and this is Mrs. Mister, and Mrs. Mister is broken. So <laughs> I'm going to swap out Mrs. Little Top. She just doesn't want to do her thing anymore. She's like semi-retired. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can fix it, if I can do some surgery or something. Maybe there's something I missed, but huh, missed. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know it. But so I just missed it with a little bit of water. I did it on the first pour too, but I didn't usually when I do a brand new canvas and I miss the back, I, I'll take a hair dryer and 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 dry it so that the canvas actually shrinks because I think it needs a little bit of heat to help it out but the water absorbs and it expands the cotton but it's so dry in here that I think it sucks out even more of the moisture I hate that word it, <laughs> hate is a very strong word but that is a very icky word moist Ugh. <laughs> anyway well, Brenda also does cream and sugar. Hang on, I gotta bring you all up here. Okay. Brenda is on the cream and sugar team. Good morning, Doris. And look, Andy is here. Hello, Andy. Yeah, early evening for you. <laughs> and Gina Bina is here. Good morning, Gina Bina. So I want to talk about, while we're doing this, um, I'm going to use my cloud mix in the background. So we're going to stir this up and give it a whirl. But, um, you know, I had to do some adulting stuff today. We won't go into it, but I still have more to do. And I dread it. I don't know about you guys, but... I don't make a very good adult. I mean, I pay my bills on time. That's one thing that I do do. I pay all my bills on time, even if that means I eat ramen noodles for a week or two, you know, or live off of what I can create out of what's in my pantry, which I'm very creative after, you know, being a single mom and being homeless and just downright being poor, I can get really creative with a lot of different things. And it actually looks good and tastes good. Well, Sometimes it doesn't look so good, but most of the time it tastes good. <clears throat> I know how to make different things with ramen noodles. My kids, okay, I think this is really strange, but my kids used to crush up ramen noodles, put a little bit of the seasoning packet in there, shake it up, and then eat them like chips. I don't get that. I, I, ugh. <laughs> Andy is my friend. 
Andy. I, I wish Andy was my coworker. He wears some pretty amazing suits, that man. I tell you what. But no, Andy actually uh, lives in the UK, and we met through VidIQ. So, and there's Tracy. Hello, Tracy, Tracy. <laughs> oh, your tablet's being stubborn. That's no good. But anyway, see, I'm easily distracted. My ADD is kind of kicking my butt this morning. Um, so, I forgot what I was saying. See, that's what happens when you have ADD. Is you start a conversation and you end up talking in circles because you don't remember what you were saying. But... Adulting is hard, and I don't, I don't like it. I like being able to eat what I want to eat. But, um, and <laughs> I grew up, my mom, bless her heart, um, was not a very good cook. And, you know, that was part of to the fact that her upbringing wasn't the best. I'm only finding out stuff in my adult life um, about my mom. But um, she couldn't cook. And I, I give her kudos for trying. But I grew up watching a lot of PBS, you know, Julia Child, Yan Can Cook, Jeff Smith, the Frugal Gourmet, um, what's his name? The, the Cajun guy. <clears throat> they had great chefs of the West. They had great chefs of the South, great chefs of the East. And I did not have cable until I was well in my teens. So it was PBS and a few other channels if it was a good, a good day. So I learned how to cook by doing that. And that's how I learned how flavor combinations. And then I also was in culinary school. So I know how to bake. I mean, I've always baked my own bread. Um, but I got pretty good at it now. Now, I'm, in fact, you know, it's it's what you're passionate about. And that's that's kind of what the talk is today is, is you know, why do you do what you do? Um, like for me, acrylic pouring has, because I live in a tiny apartment and I can't do my furniture painting like I want to do, um, I have to find an alternative to what I have available to me. And that is why I do the acrylic pours because I find it very soothing and it's a creative outlet for me. And when I get depressed or anxious or I just, I'm angry frustrated or something on those lines, I find this works for me. I mean, yes, video games, video games work amazing. Um, in fact, I can't remember what night it was. I think it was Sunday night, <laughs> my night off. I sat and played Borderlands for like four hours. It was amazing. I started a new character because like I haven't turned on my Xbox in like nine months. I think August was the last time I turned it on. And so I couldn't remember where my character was at. So I rebooted the 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 um, the game and started a new character. And I'm playing a character that I haven't played yet. So it'll be fun. And that's probably be honest that's probably what I'll do tonight for a couple of hours I've got a lot of adulting stuff today and sometimes my brain is just so fried that I can't even think straight so a little bit of wine guy who what wine guy I don't know him I'll have to google him so this is my creative outlet. And, you know, I'm curious to know, I'm trying to get new ideas. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people working with alcohol inks and I do have alcohol inks here. And so I'm gonna 
maybe I'll do a little bit on those um, and see if I like those as much as I like this. Um, I like this because it's part science and part art. And that's why I like baking because it's part science and part art. That's why I like candle making and soap making and doing all the bath and body stuff that I used to do. And because it's part science and part art. Um, and I miss doing those things, but I don't have the space to do a lot of that right now. So I am gonna start doing soap making um, as soon as I can lasso uh, my friend Adam and make sure all my bills are paid for April and um, then go to Costco and get a big tub of olive oil and some coconut oil. Um, I think I actually have some coconut oil that I could probably use, but um, I've already got all the other stuff that I need. Oh, I need distilled water too, so. The cabin, oh, the Cajun cook. Yeah, Cajun, Cajun, Cajun cook. Tracy says, yes, I'm going to do some alcohol ink. I love doing different things. And you know, that's, that's kind of, that's me too, because, Alcohol ink, I may need to wear gloves. Um, probably not. <laughs> oh, get yourself paint by numbers if it takes you years to finish. You know, I thought about printing off because I have a laser printer and um, Scarlett got me to thinking <clears throat> about doing um, the alcohol ink watercolor thing because I've got like little trays there that, um, that would work really well for like the um, palette. So um, I think I'm gonna try that. I don't have the photo paper though, so that's something I might have to purchase, but um, I just, I wanna try something new. I wanna do something different. And I just don't know if I have the patience for it. I don't do counted cross stitch. I don't crochet anything other than uh, wash rags because I get bored and it's like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And I'll throw it aside. And it, I mean, I started a quilt like many, many years ago and I ended up giving it to a friend and said, here, take this, finish it, have fun with it, rock it, you know? Um, Cause I just couldn't do it anymore. It was just like, no. <laughs> Colorful hands, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Colorful hands it is. Because I, you know, I always have paint on my hands. And if I don't have paint, I would have food color. Anybody, okay. So for Patreon, which is coming, I'm working on it. Um, <clears throat> I was waiting for YouTube to, to approve me to do live videos. Um, so I can go live on my on the YouTube channel and just link it to Discord, which I think is gonna be the best option. But now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it as far as lighting, because my kitchen is really dark. But one of the things that I wanna do is I have all my cookie decorating stuff, like all my professional food colors, all, you know, everything that you could ever want for any kind of cake decorating, cookie decorating, anything like that. <clears throat> so, I think what I'm going to do is um, just do some acrylic pours on cookies because they do it. They do it with chocolate um, on cakes and cookies. There's actually, I think, Marlin from. Um, if you ever want to watch a really good cookie decorator, Marlin is her name. And she is amazing. And she is from Montreal, Montreal Creations, I think. Her link, if you go to my subscriptions or channels we watch, she's in that um, strip of people. Because um, she's amazing. I mean, there's Cupcake Gemma, and she's awesome, too. She's in London, I think. Um, and Marlin is in Montreal, Canada. And... Um, 
you know, she just does some really cool stuff. I just, I really love her. Okay. That's the bottle, not me. So um, check out her stuff. But she did, I think she did some of that chocolate pouring on on cookies. Is I want to say she did. I can't re I know I remember seeing her. Um, there's also, if you want to see some really cool sculptural cakes, um, how to cake it. I don't know if she's doing videos anymore. Um, but she did some really crazy stuff, and it was awesome to watch. So, um, and then, let's see who else is there. Um, and, and that's what I really want to get back into, my furniture painting, my cake decorating, cookie decorating. But I don't have the space for all that right now. So, um, I mean, I have a big six-quart KitchenAid mixer that I bought. And I think that's the reason why my husband left me. But that's okay. <laughs> It is what it is. I worked hard for that money. I saved up for like six months to get that money. So. And um, once this COVID thing kind of settles down, there's a couple of places that I do have furniture pieces finished. And I need to get them out of my apartment. <laughs> so um, there's a couple of places that I'm going to contact and see if they'll take them on, on consignment. Or just take them, you know. <laughs> take them and donate the money to a food shelf or something. Because I just need them. I just need them gone. They're really cool and I really love them. Um, I do have some videos on them. They're um, back further in my channel. I did some kind of like preview things that I posted and I think they got like 12 views. So, <laughs> and I'm just kind of randomly grabbing colors here. And I was going to use black, but I think black is going to be too dark. So I'm going to use this um, Payne's Gray. Maybe I'll do a, just a smidge of black. That would be interesting. Doris, I heard you can use food coloring and resin. I would think so because it's, well, I don't know. Because mine is not liquid. Mine is um, gel. It's the professional gels. So it's still water-based, though. So I wonder, I might do an experiment on that and and see how it goes um i need to sell some of my paintings though so i can buy some more resin so um, i've got some things going on in in the works here i've got an idea and i just need to play around with said idea but um, I am doing a giveaway for those that join um, Patreon at um, even just the $5 level. I'm giving away um, your choice of what I call my pillow paintings. They're an 8x10 canvas that I kind of puffed out to give them some dimension. And um, so I'm going to be giving away your choice of one of those. So if you sign up in April, um, and I'm going to be shipping out as soon as... As soon as I get the courage to go into the UPS store, or not the UPS, USPS, the post office, because every time I have the intention of going in there, my anxiety goes high because that place is always busy, always. There's always people in there, and I'm like, well, maybe COVID will make it different. Let's put a little bit of red in there. Got this uh, quinacridone. Is this what? I don't remember which red this is. This is the uh, golden um, 
heavy body. And these are all different. <laughs> these are all different pouring mediums. So we're going to see what happens. This is a translucent color um, or transparent. Um, one of the things that I want to try out too, and that's the thing I love about acrylic pouring though, you guys, um, is just trying things out and being and experimenting. And what my results are, you know, you could take the exact same mix and have a completely different result. So that's what I love about this. All right, we're going to turn this around because I don't think it's sitting level on there. <clears throat> I tried peeling it off, y'all, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to soak it in hot water. There's Miss Elisa. Hello, Elisa. <laughs> I was doing it right when she said gloves, looked at my hand and said, oops. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Brenda. We're in the cream and coffee and no gloves except for resin because resin is just nasty stuff, man. So... Other than resin and alcohol inks, what do you guys do to, um, to, you know, relax? Or, you know, this is very stressful times for a lot of people, you know, um, just not being at work or we're trying to work from home. And, you know, there's people like me out there that, um, that don't live with anybody. So I'm on my own all day long. I do have to go to a physical therapy appointment, which I'm not too thrilled about, but um, and then tomorrow I have a video conference with my doctor and um, it's just, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of over it already. And it, I got, I got, like 15 two more weeks of this before I go back to work and I'm not saying I want to go back to work I'm just saying I want to see people and mostly people that I you know care about like my daughter and Adam and and you know my trip to Canada has been put off because of all this I was going to go there over Memorial Day weekend and pick up Jason and go out to Seattle because I've never been to Seattle um, and Vancouver. And we were supposed to just, I was going to pick him up and then we we're supposed to just go drive and just go there to see there. And that didn't happen. Okay, so I'm going to blow this out and then we're going to let it kind of chill out. And we'll see what happens. And I'm going to take this off. I have this on there. And I think, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> well, good morning, Chris. Good morning, good morning. Laura says, I actually do digital scrapbooking designing kits and products that keeps me creative. That is awesome. I started using GIMP and and learning that so um I, I actually started using gimp a long time ago but i wasn't very good at it so i quit using it so all right so giving you the warning if you're wearing earbuds or don't like loud noises Five, four, three, two, one. We turn on the turbo. Okay, turn off the turbo and let's go on.
Oh, it's going to spin itself. I'll be right back. Okay, well that turned out a little bit better than I thought it would. So let's let that sit for a few minutes. Let it do its thing. And then we'll spin it out. Let's catch up on on uh, <laughs> chat here. Hit me up. I can send you fun stuff. Hey, Laura, I'm all about fun stuff. used to do that too i did mine in paint shop pro yeah i think i had a paint shop program way back in the day i wouldn't even know oh uh, and our on um, dropbox awesome <laughs> you're already muted tish blow away yes for you i'm muted <laughs> yes final countdown da 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 Da, 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 da. That used to be one of my favorite songs when I was a kid. I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> That's pretty satisfying to watch the colors blend together. Yep, it, it really is. And then just watching all these little cells kind of pick up and do their thing. So we'll see what happens when we spin it. Send you a PM. And I, oh yeah, I can play on GIMP. I love, I love it. Okay. Well, it's only been two minutes. Let me have a sip of coffee here. This is actually my second cup of coffee. I don't normally break my one one cup rule, but this is a big cup, so it's actually like like two mugs. Um, I think it's a sixteen ounce cup. So, <laughs> it's one of those songs that you have to sing when you hear it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Except for I can't sing. I can't carry a tune in a bucket, so I try not to you know harm your ears any more than the hairdryer did. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, Andy, are you, did I see dance party on Discord this morning? Or was that just, it was that just a figment of my imagination? Okay, let's make sure we have everything covered. Move that out of the way. There is a piece of plastic there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Too bad it's not bigger, a bigger skin. Oh, uh, are we doing just dance? Okay, so y'all, Andy streams on uh, Twitch. And the same user ID name, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and... He does Jackbox games, and, and, and it's really fun. And a lot of times I miss him because, you know, adulting and cleaning and time zones and all that. So, um, but I try and get, I try and get in there and play a little bit. I'm not real good at, at trivia games. I know a lot of stuff, but I don't know a lot of pop culture and current event type stuff. So I, I'm more of like the history, art history buff and that kind of thing. So... That wasn't really skins though. And I have a whole bunch of skins for Sally. <laughs> Hello, Ange. I'll get into bed and have the final countdown running through my mind. Oh no. <laughs> That's funny. 
that's okay i had pink floyd in my head the other night but anyway andy uh, goes on twitch if you want to hang out with him um i can't remember his times andy go ahead and post your times that you go um do it your time and we can do the appropriate math so i know central time I, i'm pretty sure is seven hours behind so it's i think like five o'clock there right now so anyway let's give this a spin and see what happens i really like this i don't want to spin that off but here we go i'm gonna take a step back so i don't get splattered with paint okay you you were on there. I made sure you were on there. So we're going to do this. We're going to dip this side. And we're going to dip this side. And we're going to make sure it stays down. <coughs> okay. You were sticking before. There's wet paint on there. I don't know why it didn't stick. Okay. Let me grab a towel before my hands get too hot and so dirty. Of course, Andy. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 5.30 p.m. UK time. So central time. Central time, that's 10.30 a.m. Okay, so for all us staters. <laughs> but Twitch is... is is it's been mostly a, a <clears throat> gaming platform but I've done a few live pours on there never got any views but I don't go on there very much I'm gonna try out mixer and see how that goes so um, that'll be in the next coming week so we'll see what happens all right here we go Spin this one more time and go the other direction. <laughs> when you spin, does some of the plant? paint fly off um if you could see my pants right now i think that would be a yes <laughs> but yeah these are some of the bottles that are on the sides on, on just right here so that's why i put them right here so they don't go all over my keyboard <laughs> and i have other stuff behind here too i usually have a board but i think i used my board for something else but oh brenda have a great day Love you, honey. Okay. So I'm not liking this right here. So we're going to see if it'll tip off. Erp. Here we go. Well, yeah, because it's still really solid right there. And it's not tipping off, so we're going to tip it back. And we're gonna, I'm going to try blowing on it and see if that helps break it up a little bit. So don't mind my hair. It's just in a ponytail. I don't even have a bandana on because I just threw it in a ponytail this morning and set to the adulting stuff. <sighs> All right, let's try going just have my handy dandy straw here. There, I like that better. 
Ooh, got lightheaded a little bit. See if we can maneuver some of this this way. Oh man. Okay. There. Now we gotta kinda fix this. There. <laughs> That's where I put my arm. See? I got my arm in the paint. So gloves don't help me, y'all. Gloves don't help me. <laughs> I like how it's solid right here and then cell explosion up there. And you know what? Let's torch this. Let me wipe off my hands and my arm. I just need like a hazmat suit because I have paint all over my pants. But that's okay. They're painting pants. That's what they're for. That's why they're painting pants because they're already full of paint. Oh, there's not very much movement in this paint. I really do like this bottom part, though. I really like this. This I'm not so keen on. That looks cool, more cool now. Let's blow on this guy, too. See what we can get out of him. I say him because, you know, it's kind of masculine colors, so I'll just say him. All right, I like that better. Oh, my old nose itches and my glasses. Okay, I changed over to my other glasses because my other ones were thicker for my headset off my face. That's why I don't wear them very often. that another spin and see what I'm going to do right here too. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that. But I like the way this is kind of turning out. Let's give this another spin and see what happens. I need the veterinary gloves. Okay. Hey, y'all, um, if you're enjoying this stream, smash that like button. So that helps with engagement and helps get my channel get seen and the more I get seen then the more y'all get seen because you know what I am all about promoting 
YouTubers and other artists. That's what we're here. I mean, it says right in my channel banner, artist community. So I just happen to do the acrylic pores because it's fun. <laughs> and I, li I, I like playing mad scientist. Okay, I want to try and flatten this out. So I wonder if I spin it, if it'll flatten out. So here we go. One more spin. Whoop. Okay, my finger slipped on the paint. Stop. Jeez. Here we go. <clears throat> and you know if you're new to the channel i just want to take a moment to welcome you and if you enjoy our vibe and want to join our little tribe all you gotta do is click subscribe so let's do one more because that kind of flattened it out used too much white that was my bad it's okay though we live and we learn i like it though so let's oh so now i can't even get it off there we go oh well what happened there that is bad juju hang on that must have been when my finger slipped Ugh. okay good thing i already had breakfast <laughs> like, you know, scrambling eggs with paint all over your hands. Let's see here. Let's do it this way. Yeah. It's hard to go directional. All right, let's turn it this way. There's no mistakes in painting, only happy accidents. All right. You can fix that right there. That's okay. There we go. All better. Okay, and just a reminder that every Wednesday night, I go live with five other really creative, really awesome artists. And if you haven't checked that out, check out the Artapalooza uh, uh, playlist and, um, on our pay playlist tab. And if you're interested in joining Artapalooza, we welcome anybody who has a cell phone and a set of earbuds. That's all you really need. So I don't care what what art you do, just as long as you do something creative. I mean, if you do something co really cool on your computer, we can screen share that, you know. So you can do all kinds of art. We welcome all walks of life and all media formats. All right. This is a little busy for me. Usually I'm not this busy. But... I think it turned out, I love this right here. That's my favorite part. <laughs> and that did that red is translucent, transparent. So we'll see how that dries. I'm curious. And then there's this corner. And get up in the center there that's where all the cool stuff look at those cells <clears throat> i'm trying to and i think it'll flatten out as it goes yeah all right let me get my hands cleaned up again See bubbles added to the middle. I don't know how to do bubbles. I've never done those before. I've seen the videos of doing them. I just was like, yeah, I probably screw that up somehow. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, gotta run, have errands today and don't wanna wait too long. All right, to understand and completely respect that, I'm gonna do my errands when I go out for my appointment at two o'clock. So I'll probably leave a little earlier than two. Well, I'll probably do my errands after my doctor appointment because it's on the way home. So have a great day, Laura. Be safe out there. All right. So if you're watching the replay, let me know what you do to help calm yourself down or, you know, release some stress down in the comment box below. I will be going live again tomorrow night. You can catch me at 630 Central. Um, and we're doing Friday Night Flip Cup. Whoop, 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 whoop. So, um, and I'm also looking to bring on special guests on Friday night. So if you're interested in that, DM me on the Twitter tweets or on Facebook. Um, you could try Instagram, but Instagram is weird. I don't always get notifications from Instagram, which is really frustrating me. So, um, <laughs> yes. Yes, Chris, we know you love beer. <laughs> And yes, I understand that is your relaxing thing. My, it's kind of become, it, it's kind of become my thing. Um, I have a beer or two or three at the end of the day just to help me unwind. Um, I don't like taking sleeping pills. I don't like taking muscle relaxers because I wake up and I'm hungover. Beer doesn't hang me over, so I'm good. Yes, it's beer time. It's beer 30, right? Right. <laughs> So um, if you're not familiar with anybody in the chat, please go check out their channels. I know Laura Berger has a channel and Doris has a channel. And of course, Mr. Chris, Mr. Desert Man, he has a channel. <laughs> Lisa, who's going to bring me some beer? <laughs> I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't because you're too far away. If you were, if you were four hours away, maybe. But you're 14 or 15 hours away. Yeah, no, I can't do that kind of driving right now. If my shoulder was better, yeah, I'd be there, honey. Um, then we'd have to drive down to go see Chris. <laughs> and and who else lives in Arizona? I can't remember. There's another. I think it's Julia that lives in Arizona. Anyway. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, and just so you know, um, I do have um, I do have a buy me a coffee link, and for the and for the uh, duration of April, they aren't charging us. PayPal is still charging us because you know they're PayPal. But buy me a coffee, it's three dollars, and if you'd like to help out the channel, um, I would appreciate it. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you would appreciate it because, um, you know, I see a lot of you here time and time again. And I am so blessed to have such great Internet friends and even great personal friends that I've gotten to know over the last six months. It's just been awesome. And I don't know what I would do without you guys, truly. So. Um, sorry, <laughs> emotional moment. Um. So if you can help me out, cool. If you can't, that's cool too. Just show up and, and be you and, and, and you know, if you're interested in going live, but you're scared to do so, come on with me and we'll, we'll work it out. Um, love to see you on Artapalooza or you know what? We can always do a Friday night flip cup together um, or we can do, you know, coffee talk, you know, I'm getting over clumped. <laughs> I am just really in a weird mood now because I've had the caffeine's kicking in. I've had a very stressful morning and now I'm like surrounded by love and I love it. And I'm so grateful for you, all of you that are out there and supporting us small channels. I, I can't thank you enough for that. <clears throat> in facing the uncertainty of all of our futures, even more so now with this horrible, horrible virus that is spreading across the world. And it is not the flu virus, y'all. If you really think that, you need to do some reading and learning. Okay? Please, educate yourself. 
wash your hands, practice social distancing, or as I like to call it, physical distancing, because here you are being social. Hello. So we're still social. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>